My mother used to say I was lazy. Wouldn't pick up my clothes. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Ravenclaw, over here! Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... Uh... Thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. This is going well. Thank 
quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Do you get your competitiveness from your family? You could say that. My grandfather played Quidditch for Puddlemere United. And my father, well, he was a chaser for Slytherin, but had to stop after a curse took his knees out. Said it was the Gryffindor beater. And me, I fell in love with flying the first time I saw the ground disappear beneath my feet. Something about the freedom you feel on a brim. I've not been able to stop since. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. I don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. Not bad for a Ravenclaw. You take care of yourself. You can stop a thief in their tracks. How's my favourite test flyer? Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then? The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Hello, are you here for Summoner's Court? That I am. Don't expect to be as lucky here as you were in Crossed Wands. Speaking of which, care to lose I mean, play a match. <laughs> of course, Charlotte. Then may the best summoner win. Akio! Precisely as planned. Stop that! Akio!
precisely as planned. Remember that. Akio! Precisely as planned. too proud to admit when I've lost. Where did you learn to play like that? I play by intuition. Natural skill and all that. That's been my strategy. I suppose it only gets you so far, though. Well, you've only one opponent left now. I won't say more than that, but let's just say he's the best for a reason. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spint Witches when you can. Oh, hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. What are we looking for today? I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I hope they can tell we're sincere, but... Poppy, centaurs are just... centaurs. They can't read your mind any better than I could. Perhaps you're right. It's just... Never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. Speaking of secrets, I do want to tell you why Victor Rookwood's after me. He's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock's after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps explain a bit about what we saw back at Horntail Hall. Of course, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Even the centaurs won't know. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. What 
do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Sigets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? He could have been a bit clearer, or stayed a moment and answered our questions. Centaurs can be cryptic. Grand says no one talks more in circles than a centaur. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. <laughs>